Now in the first part then of this question, we're given y squared minus 3y equals x cubed plus 8 and asked to find dy dx. So how are we going to do that? Well, this is a typical implicit equation. Implicit equations have got literally x and y's scattered on both sides of the equation. Now it's no good trying to make y the subject for something like this. Okay, it's just too difficult. What we need to do is just go straight in and try and differentiate with respect to x. And I'd always encourage you to write that statement if you're going to differentiate something like this with respect to x. Okay, first of all we've got the first term. It's a y term and to differentiate this with respect to x, let me remind you, you've got to use implicit differentiation. Essentially if you differentiate some function of y with respect to x, you differentiate it with respect to y and then you multiply it by dy by dx. It's as if these dy's cancels. It's the chain rule essentially, okay? So, differentiating y squared with respect to x, we differentiate it with respect to y and we would get 2y but we must remember to put dy dx then on the end. So we have dy dx there. Now we come on to the second term, minus 3y. We differentiate that function of y with respect to y first of all. So that's going to be minus 3, but remember to tag on the dy dx. So dy dx. Now when it comes to differentiating x cubed with respect to x, no problem, that's just simply 3x squared. Differentiate the 8 with respect to x, well being a constant that goes to 0. Now the next stage is to factorise this side here by knowing that dy dx is a common factor. Now what I would avoid doing is writing dy dx at the front of the bracket. You shouldn't really do that, okay? You should really put dy dx at the rear of the bracket. It's the place that it's generally supposed to go. It's not wrong if you put it at the front, no one's going to mark you down, but it's basically, let, take this 2y, if you wrote y2 it's going to look peculiar, yet it's still 2y. We always write dy dx at the end of a bracket, okay? Then it equals 3x squared. You're nearly there now. All you've got to do is just divide both sides by 2y minus 3. So therefore you end up with dy by dx equaling 3x squared all divided by 2y minus 3. Okay? 